Hi everyone, uh, we're going to try something a little different. Um, you may or may not have seen the backstage at backstage interviews where I interviewed companies backstage at backstage um, about their work, about their upcoming work. Um, well, obviously we can't do that now. So we're just going to try something a little different to um, keep us up to date with what's happening or not, as the case may be. Um, but over the next while, I might be chatting to companies that were meant to be performing and backstage and hopefully we'll be performing very soon again um, so bear with us this is all very new um, I'm gonna try and do it in one take because I'm not used to editing it on a Mac um, and yeah so we'll talk to different companies different performers different um, production companies who were due to come to backstage um, while we're all staying safe at home so first up I'm going to talk to June Belton who's the chairperson of St. Miles Musical Society now full disclosure June is my mother but who else better to try this on for the first time than my mommy? Um, so, June, how are you? No pressure. Uh, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm cocooning here and, and uh, lucky the weather is good and we're out and about. Miss grandkids but, and the hugs, but look at They'll come soon, hopefully. Exactly, exactly. Um, June, kind of a strange night for everyone in St. Mel's Musical Society because tonight was meant to be the start of a nine night run with hundreds of people coming to see Hairspray. Um, obviously that's not happening now, but um, how is everyone in the society feeling? Uh, well, look, we made the decision earlier on. We knew it wasn't going to happen. We thought that maybe, maybe at this stage, things would have quietened down, but we were glad now we made the decision when we made it. Uh, it wasn't an easy decision to make, but uh, look, we had to do it and it was a no brainer. But lucky enough, all the people that are involved, like our director, musical director, choreographer, uh, they were on board and they, you know, they made it easy, you know, when we, we had to make, I had to make the phone call and just say, look, it's sorry, we're not going ahead with this. Uh, a lot of work has gone into it and the people I really feel sorry for are the leaving cert or the uh, fifth year students that are doing fifth uh, year and sixth year. In, in school, they were the ones I really feel sorry for because there's a lot of them in it. And obviously, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to put the show on until uh, next year, uh, April next year, yeah. April 2021. Uh, but again, we got great help from backstage on that, uh, looking for the bookings, and we got the bookings. And, um, but look at what can we do? You know, there's a lot of people in the same boat. But I really feel sorry for those youngsters who put a lot of work into the. So these are the students rehearsals. who were who were in the show and rehearsed. Transition, the show yes, with yes, Bailey rehearsing in yeah, yeah. next year. Uh, yes, yes, but the rest of the cast are raring to go. They're fully on board. Uh, they all know their scripts, which is great. Ah, uh, now, obviously, now. <laughs> yes, obviously, there's a few people who cannot do it next year. And we will be doing auditions for the parts that, you know, uh, of the people that, that can't come into it next year. But uh, we hope to have a meet up and have a party at, at the end of this. And, uh, you know, we'll all get together and chat and whatever. But yeah, but tonight would have been, I would have my makeup on and my <laughs> hair done and the nails done. And I would be uh, looking very glamorous with all my friends in front of house greeting everyone so it is it's a strange feeling it is a strange feeling but yeah. look at uh, these things happen and there's worse things happening uh, all the people that are losing their families and loved ones and we have to do what the right thing and hope to uh, that we'll all you know in a few months time we'll be able to to get out and live a, a life yeah, reasonably normal so again yeah the cocooning and yes. the art is all going to be worthwhile, please God. So. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And it, it seems to be working. We're lucky that we have a, a leaders that are, you know, doing the right thing. And that's, that's very important. And it, we also, too, have a lot of uh, sponsors who we already have got sponsorship from, but we were in contact with them and they're aware that, you know, we, we're putting the show, um, for, uh, not putting it on until next year. But, uh, and hopefully our sponsors will again come on board. And it's now it's more important than ever that we support local businesses, that we support everyone locally. Absolutely. We, and I think uh, 
I think the groups like yourselves, like the Musical Society and all the yeah. other groups in the town, like people really do get behind them and there's such oh, a absolutely, absolutely. feeling of support around them. And, you know, there's yes, always an yes, electric yes. kind of feeling in the air. Yes, yes, absolutely. And we're absolutely. missing that this year, but look, we'll have lots to look forward to, I'm sure. Yes, we will. We will. And, you know, it's, it's going to be a great show and hopefully it'll be something to look forward to, even for, for, the, for the cast as well, to get back into because there's such fun uh, rehearsing. And then, of course, we'll have uh, the show itself, which is a great fun show. And at this stage, at that stage, hopefully everyone's mind will be in a place where they'll have forgotten, hopefully, what has happened in the past few months. We'll all need a good laugh anyway and a good sing song. Yes, we will. We will. Definitely will. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, Jean, you mind yourself and uh, ma'am. I will. <laughs> I'll be chatting to you later. Um, but listen, okay. thanks so much for taking the time. And for Not me. at all. And look, at everyone mind themselves. And the important thing is that we all come out of this without losing a loved one. And that's the main thing. Uh, I mean, I, I was a nurse in a former life and I, I kind of feel guilty out pattern in my garden and doing the painting where I feel I should be doing something more worthwhile uh, because I think once a nurse always a nurse and your instinct is to help people and uh, I you know I'm so proud of my work colleagues my former work colleagues who are still working and who all the nurses everyone frontline staff all the carers everyone that's out there uh, you know doing their bit and uh, hopefully everything will come back to normal in the next few months absolutely okay yeah, thanks thank very you much. Bye.